Hey folks, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you how you can create an optimistic update using React Query. In the specific, we will build a user headed to do hooks that use a mutation and build this mutation using an optimistic update. So don't waste time and let's jump in it. For this example, I already created the code and in this video, I'll comment with you all the all the procedure. So let's start from the use edit to do hook. I create a use edit to do hook that implement the mutation for edit a to do in this case. The result of this hook is a function that accept a new to do with ID and uh, ID uh, assignee and the text and return a void because the mutation is asynchronous in this way. Then the edit to do request is very simple, accept to do and return the new to do. I uh, had uh, I added a set timeout to uh, simulate a delay from the server and the put request is very simple an API slash task slash the ID of the to do and in the body you can find the new to do uh, object easy if uh, all it's okay return the to do otherwise raise an error. Simple and easy peasy. Now it's time to see how use edit to do works and how the optimi optimistic update is built inside of this hook. So let's start from the uh, from uh, the dependency. In this case, I use the use snackbar to create a toast and to close a toast in case of error. Then uh, I go dive to this. I use the client and uh, I use the client to set the, the data, get the data and to uh, reset the state. But uh, we'll, see, uh, we'll see better the, the, the implementation uh, soon. Then I use the use mutation hook and uh, I create a edit to do. In this case, uh, the edit to do is the mutation. And this uh, mutation accept a to do as error I set uh, unknown. The return of the, the variable of the mutation is a to do, so accept a to do in this case. And um, then uh, the context. The context is used to save in this case the state of the status of the React query, que the React query uh, before. The mutation so we can reset the status if uh, something goes wrong during the request and we can reset uh, the data as before now it's time to see the implementation using the on mutate hook we can uh, handle some uh, action before I start to uh, call the edit to do request in this case the first things uh, that uh, the code does is uh, create a toast call uh, uh, with a simple message to do edited and uh, with the variant uh, success so the background is uh, green in this case then uh, because this is an, an optimistic update i have to handle uh, a strategy to um, reset the status is uh, if something went wrong during the request in this case I use an all to do uh, variable to save the current um, the current state of the query to do in this case the list of to do and uh, I also use uh, the all to do variable to save the result of the to do uh, plus id query in this case the the to do that uh, is uh, on uh, on editing then uh, using the set query I go to uh, save the new data in the status of uh, React query. So using the query query to do plus ID, I can set the new to do to the query. And then using the set query, uh, in this case, the, the, the key is uh, to do's, I I'll get the current state, in this case all to do, and check if uh, the ID is equal to the current to do, I return the to do item, in other case return the old, uh, the old item, in this case uh, the item with the different ID, so the, the item uh, don't, uh, don't edit. And then I return the all to do uh, status, the all to do status and the message key 
to, to the contest. It's important this part because this, uh, this build the contest, the contest and we can use it to uh, reset the data in case of, of error. If uh, all it's go in the, in the right way, uh, we, uh, the code pass in the own success hook. In this case, we can handle, in this case, uh, I handle the invalidation of the query to do's, but you can do everything. You can also uh, comment this line or you can also do nothing because you don't have to do nothing if uh, uh, the, the query is, um, is go, uh, is uh, went in the right way. But in this case, I want to show you can do something in this hook. The important part is the on error hook because in this part you have to handle the res the reset of the, the status if something went wrong. So uh, the on error uh, is a function with uh, three uh, parameter. The error in this case, the to do yes, the to do that uh, is a call during the mutation and the content, the context. As you can notice, in this case, the context could be undefined or the context uh, returned by the on mutator hooks. In this case, the whole to do's, in this case, the uh, all to do's is an array of to do, or the all to do, in this case, to do is uh, an object, and the message key is, um, in this case, a string. So now, the first, uh, the first step is to uh, check if uh, context exists because it uh, could be undefined because you can uh, go inside of this uh, hook or, the, or the for other case. If the context, in our case, if the, cost, the, content, the context is undefined, we can return, uh, we can exit from uh, the on error because we don't have to handle this, uh, this situation. Then we can get the all to do's, the all to do, and the message key. First of all, we can uh, close the current uh, toast, so the toast with the green um, background, and uh, we can uh, show a new uh, a new toast. In this case, with uh, the error variant, so with the red background, with uh, a message that indicate to the user that something went wrong. In this case, oops, op there was uh, an error on editing uh, to do with uh, a, a, the, the message error in this case. And then we have to reset the status of the query of the query with the previous uh, status, with the pre previous value. In this case, we have to reset the to do's plus ID query with the whole to do. And the same is for the uh, query to do's with the whole to do's item. And uh, this is uh, uh, the way to implement uh, the optimistic update uh, using uh, uh, using React Query. Now it's time to see uh, the result in the browser. But before before that, uh, we can uh, see where we can use uh, this uh, this hook. Use this hook is very simple. We have to import use added to do in our added to do page in the pages. Uh, to do the folder, edit folder, the index.tsx file. We can use the use to do and the edit to do is our mutation. In the on submit, on submit uh, function, we can check if the to do exists, if the current uh, input exists, and if the value is okay, we can uh, call the edit to do mutation with uh, uh, the previous to do, uh, and we can change uh, the text with the new one. Uh, type uh, by the, the user. Now it's time to see the result in the browser. Okay, now if I change the text from 1 to 100 and press submit, as you can notice, appear the toast and after 3 seconds appear the request to the put because there is a delay in the code. As you can notice, there is a put and uh, I pass uh, the payload is uh, the, the new uh, to do and the result is uh, the, the new to-dos in this case. Now it's time to see the result uh, in the React Query DevTool. 
So if I go in the to do, I can see the key to do with the key one. And as, as you can notice, the data is one for the D and to do 100 for the test, for the text. If I press again, for instance, to do, uh, I type again to do one and press submit, as you can notice now, the text is already changed. Yes, the request is not yet uh, uh, sent to the server, but the unmutate hook, it's uh, uh, already called. So the status of the React query uh, data is uh, uh, already changed. Now it's time to see the result with uh, an error during the request. Okay, to see the error, we have to go to VS Code and stop the API. Now we can uh, type, for instance, to do 100, and press submit. As you can notice, the to do edit uh, toast appear immediately, and then after some second, appear the error message. In this case, oops, there was an error on editing to do internal server error. This because uh, the um, uh, the API is uh, is stopped. As uh, you can uh, see in the in the status of uh, of the React query, the to-dos uh, ID, uh, the to-dos one, as the data to do uh, the ID one, the text to do one. If I press again, for instance, uh, submit, as you can see for a moment, uh, that is to do 100. When appear the, the error, the, the data uh, came back, uh, uh, go back to to do one because uh, there is a problem during the, during the update and the optimistic update understand uh, uh, this problem and uh, restore uh, the status to the previous uh, uh, to the previous uh, state. Easy peasy, but uh, important uh, to understand this con this concept if you want to work with optimistic update in your application. Now it's time to restore our API, so we can go to the VS Code and run API, and then if I go back to the browser and uh, Press submit. As you can notice, uh, the application start to uh, go in the right way again. Perfect. Okay, I hope you have an idea on how you can create and build an optimistic update using React Query. So I hope you enjoy this content and please, if you like it, please hit the like button below. And if you wanna stay updated with my content, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and see you soon. Bye bye.